Hi my loves, thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be another what's in my bag video. But this time I'm going to talk about what's in my work bag. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so before we get into it, I wanna get a little housekeeping out of the way. If you're new here, I am Bridget. On this channel, I do makeup, skincare with a little bit of lifestyle sprinkled in. So if that sounds like your cup of tea, please consider subscribing to me. I'd love to have you join the family. Now, with all of that being said, let's get into my work bag. So this is my work bag. This is the Brahmin Finley and I absolutely love this bag. This bag has everything that I need for work in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it right here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start. The first thing that I do have in my bag is my Asus and I do have a Mac and they're both the same size. This is a 15 inch. However, when I'm out and about and working, I do prefer to use this computer because my Asus can convert from a laptop into a pad and when I'm um, working I feel like that is most functional and I know you're like girl look how big that is it's too big <laughs> yeah but um, I've kind of grown used to used to having it that size and it's really neat and fun and you can just kind of do different things especially if you find yourself in uh, different places working whether that be in the office or if you meet somebody at Starbucks or you know just whatever yeah. all right so next up I have my planner and that's just something that if I'm carrying a large bag which I am most of the time I have my planner and I just keep everything that I'm doing from day to day all of my plans and things like that in my planner and I'm just kind of biased towards the larger planners because it gives you a lot of options uh, or more places to write and take notes and things like that plus uh, because of my site you know I can see but I require readers to see and I tend to write a little bit bigger or larger than normal and it's just helpful to be able to have a large uh, planner like this so you can write large enough so you can see it and I also keep another folder and this just has regular notebook paper in it and I just found this to be really convenient to take notes in and keep whatever work related things that I have to do so again I just got the regular line rule paper and I just have all my uh, work notes and things like that in it all right, so next up, I do have a water bottle and this is just an off brand that I got from Walmart and this is a BPA free with an extra straw included and like I said it's really basic now what I can tell you about this off brand is that if I have a cool item a cool drink or a hot drink it really does do a good job of keeping it at that temperature um, the only drawback that I would say with this one is that um, it is it is kind of heavy but i think that all of these type of little coolers um are heavy especially once you get whatever liquid in it that you're going to drink but it does serve its purpose i another thing that i don't necessarily like about this one is the straw so i just have it i've just taken out the straw and i just you know drink it like that so yeah i have that and this is um, a must especially if i don't um plan on eating lunch a lot of times i'll make some kind of smoothie that will have vegetables in it uh, you know like spinach uh, and other types of fruit, something that can sustain me until I get back home. So yeah, I have this. All right, so the next item is uh, my cord. And now we're kind of skirting into uh, me having everything in a bag that's in my bag. If you all saw my other um, what's in my purse video, the Hamilton Legacy, you probably noticed that every little item that I had in my bag was in a bag. and. For me, that just kind of helps me stay a little bit more organized. I can immediately go to whatever item I need as opposed to it just kind of all being in there some kind of way. But this little bag right here carries my charger for my computer and I just have it in here. And this really, even though it looks big, it really doesn't take up that much space, especially because 
you know you can kind of I can put the planners it can go in between the planners if necessary so I do have this I have another little case right here and this carries a lot of my essentials for work so as you can see I have my pens I got a pencil a little marker a red pen and uh, two blue pens so I also have my cords for my phones I have a Galaxy Note 20 as well as a older note and the reason that I have my older phone is because it takes really good pictures uh, to me better than my newer phone so just to show you I keep my phones right in that middle uh, zipper part right there so that would be everything that I keep in this little case right here in that middle part that I just showed you I also keep my external hard drive and anytime that I film or do anything on my computers I always save it to my hard drive also just kind of like a side note you all if you all have a hard drive you really do need to um, change it up or get a new one every year or two because what I found out the hard way was that these hard drives only last so long and then once they go bad or stop working all of the information that you have on it is gone it's just dust at least that's what the geek squad at Best Buy told me all right so next up in that little zipper part that I just showed you I do also keep my um, external battery and this is always nice um, if ever I find myself somewhere where there's no outlet or either all of the outlets are taken and they won't be available for a while I like to use my external battery and all you do is it has a cord you plug this cord into the battery and then the other part into your device and it takes about an hour a little over an hour for it to get a full charge um, and on this little clear part right here or the shiny plastic part it'll give you the percentage of the battery life as well as how much uh, longer you have to go before you reach a full charge on your other device or whatever device you're actually charging but this is super helpful and I also like the little pouch uh, that it comes in it does come with a little uh, as you can see a little mesh type of packaging um, to prevent it from getting scarred or damaged. Next up, I do have my wallet, and this is just one of the wallets that I keep my personal items in, like my chapstick, my lotion. I do have, um, like to keep like little hand sanitizer wipes, and I do also have my um, medications that I like to carry, uh, and this is just Advil and Tylenol, so that's like, uh, a must <laughs> uh, my medications lotion and what else was in here my chapstick all right next up I have another little bag and <laughs> in this little bag uh, I like to keep my miles and this is just a generic mouse that I bought off of Amazon and I also like to keep my uh, supercharger and this charges it takes about 30 minutes to get a full charge on whatever it is I pl uh, plug into it so all I do is go back into this little bag and get one of my cords uh, plug it into whatever device that I'm gonna use plug it into this into the wall and in 30 minutes uh, sometimes a little less I do get a full charge off of my phone or a tablet or whatever it is that I need charging and I also have the cord to my phone uh, this is my Samsung phone and this is the little port that I use. And of course on the other end, this is where I actually charge it into uh, the adapter that goes into the wall. So yeah, I just like to carry this because this little watch requires charging at the end of the day. If any of you all have the Samsung watch, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But if ever I'm out or it's a super long day and it's if it's getting low, I do like to take it off and charge it. Plus I have the external battery so I could very well charge it in my car or just wherever so I always like to keep this in my bag okay and then um, the little pocket there's a little zipper pocket not sure if y'all can see it but the zipper pocket is right there and in that little zipper part I like to keep my earbuds as well as my USB port and really this is just an adapter I like to use the cards and I'll save my information on the card and from there 
um, I'll plug it into here, this little part right here, and then put it into my computer. And I think that that's a good place for it because it's a really small pocket. Um, it does have a zipper and it's easily accessible. So I just like to keep it there. And then I do have my wallet. In my wallet, you all have seen this before. I just keep my keys, um, I keep my credit card and my cash. Nothing really exciting there. And I also keep my um, coin purse where I have all of my coins. And I kind of went into detail in another video why I like to keep it separate. But yeah, keep all my little coins. But yeah, I keep all of my little coins in this little baby. And that is pretty much it. I did want to show you on this Brahmin, the back um, does have an outside pocket, which I sometimes use for my phone. Uh, I'm just going to show you real fast. As you can see, it does fit and it goes all the way in. Um, it does have some other little pockets that... I don't necessarily use uh, it's got a pocket there in the front a zipper pocket and then right in front of the zipper pocket it's got another little pocket right here that doesn't have a zipper and then on the flip side it's got two pockets and that is it on the front part of the bag you do get the little plate that says Brahmin and the little uh, purse accessory that says Brahmin here so that is pretty much it. That is everything that's in my work bag. Let me know down in the comments if you've used any of the items that I used and if so, how'd they work for you? So with that being said, thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.